Another first time recipe I've never tried before and hopefully it comes out like my sweet potato brownies I've done in the past. This time we're going to be making a healthy, low fat, rice crispy treat. Um, I really wanted to compliment my favorite flavor, the cookies and cream so far, but after seeing Cellucor is going to be releasing five new flavors, which would be uh, Fetty, Fetty Cake Batter and courtesy of Jen, Jen Jewel, um, Red Velvet Cake for Craig, Capricio, one of our male athletes. We also have S'mores, White Chocolate Mocha, and we are going to release a chocolate chip cookie dough in the future. So be sure to stay tuned to Chef Bob's channel here, B. Kutneski, and you'll be seeing many more to come. What did I use? I used just a small box of Rice Krispies. I used cocoa because I figured that would go well with the core whey. So in this bowl here, I have one box, which is 39 grams, one scoop, which is 34 grams, and then what are we going to use to combine this? Because usually Rice Krispie treats use butter. Well, I'm going to go with the lower fat alternative, go with a little bit of honey. I used 5 grams, 20 grams of marshmallow fluff to help bind everything together, <clears throat> and a little bit over 2 tablespoons of Greek yogurt, which is about 50 grams. So I have our dry in here, and I have our wet combined in here. So all I'm going to do is spoon out all of our wet, as so, and I'm just going to mix it in here with my spoon, and when I'm done, I'm going to take a small little square tray and press it down in there with a spatula. But first, I'm going to make sure I coat it with cooking spray, and all you're going to do is just place it in the fridge, because this will let it harden up and bind together. So I'm going to cut the camera and mix this all together, and I'll drop it in before we put it in. Now, as you can see, this is a very, very thick mixture, and it was really hard to actually mix with my spatula. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our coated pan here, and we're simply just going to drop this in here and spread it out among to make that nice little square. Um, it may be hard to kind of scrape off the bottom of some of the, uh, the Rice Krispie there of the powder, but again, this should be a very thick mixture. You don't want to add water. You want to keep it as thick as possible and then spread this around the outsides as you can see and make your nice little square there. So this was actually a very good blend. It was hard to mix, but that's good because the harder the better. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes and you should be able to literally flip it over and plop it right on a plate and it will pop right out. Now, the whole recipe, um, the directions and the macros will be in the comment box below as always. Please follow me, B. Kupneski, YouTube, B. Kupneski on Instagram, um, and I will also include a final picture in the comment box as well when this does come out of the fridge. So I'm going to let this sit, I'm going to let it cool, and we should have another Chef Bob masterpiece. That is only, I think it comes out to 60 grams of carbs, 2 grams of fat, and 30 grams of protein, which is around 380 calories. So a nice big Rice Krispie Treat, low in fat, lo and behold, cookies and cream, Rice Krispie Treat.